<sighs> What's up everybody, Ricky here. Welcome back to another video. Quick question, have you guys seen Meet Kevin on YouTube? He's a real estate agent, real estate investor, um, and he's doing really well on YouTube. He's over 50,000 subscribers right now and growing really quickly. Mad props to him. He puts in a lot of work. He does a lot of videos. He tries to educate people on real estate investing, which is what I mostly see out of him. Some stuff for real estate agents. I've watched his stuff and I like it. I, I like a lot of the stuff he says. I think he has a lot of merit. Just about everything he says uh, is true. And I like the direction he's going with it. I think he has long-term videos vision um, for what he's doing not only in his real estate investing portfolio but also on YouTube but I have found that he's obsessed with two things one is Grant Cardone I told myself I wouldn't do another Grant Cardone video Grant Cardone Grant 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 also wins a lot well dang I'm a millennial too but you know I think I ruined my chances to be on Grant's show I don't know comment below let me know if you think I can be on Grant's show I don't think I can be on Grant's show <laughs> if you're a millionaire already watch Grant Cardone Grant Cardone Grant Cardone, just like Grant. I'm not trying to compare myself to Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, Grant, back to Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone is right. I'm taking Grant Cardone's advice. I owe Grant Cardone a big debt. And for all of y'all out there who think, oh my gosh, Kevin's just putting Grant Cardone's name in the title for views. Well, you're partially right about that. <laughs> I found seven videos of him on Grant Cardone. There might be more. The other thing that he's obsessed about is the idea that the real estate market is or might be crashing. People are like, oh, Kevin, are, are, are you suggesting that prices are gonna fall? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. The market's falling. Oh no, the sky is falling. I found 17 videos of him talking about the market crashing in just the last 30 days. So like I said, although I agree with a lot of the stuff that Kevin says about the market changing and a lot of the stuff he says about real estate investing and so on and so forth, there's one thing that he has absolutely wrong about the market crash. Gosh, it's it's if you're an agent out there, you know, be careful. It's uh, it's it's about it might possibly get um, rough uh, out there for you. Be careful. Take this, uh, uh, on, you know, sort of as a uh, warning sign that uh, things are changing right now and it, it kind of stinks. And I talk about this in my second book, Lists to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. I've been in real estate since 2002. Okay, I made a million dollars before I'm 23 and bankrupt by 25 and had to go through that to get myself to the other side and start climbing my way back to the top from the lessons that I learned in the crash. So I know a little bit about markets crashing, what happens, what to do, and how to survive. But I really don't think it's a good idea to be throwing it out there to agents that this is a gloom and doom situation. You better watch out. Warning, warning, warning. I don't think that's the right approach when we're trying to influence the industry and teach the industry how to survive under any market situations. Take it from me, take it from an agent who's actually been there. You know, I have to be frank with you guys. I've, I feel like I've been in real estate now for, what, eight or nine years or something like that. When the market falls and the market crashes, this is an incredible opportunity. Take my market, for example, when the market crashed. Our county went from 20,000 transactions per year to 10,000 transactions per year in the worst year. Okay, but during that same time, we went from over 3,100 agents in my county to 700 agents in my county. So we went down around 50% number of transactions, but we went way lower of a percentage of agents that we lost in the crash that got scared and got out of the market. So what does that do for us? It leaves more transactions per agent for the ones who understand how to survive and thrive through a market. So how do we do that? Well, another key point that Kevin likes to bring up a lot is that cold calling is dead. Cold calling is not dead. Here's the facts. That conversation is the key to all closings. And if you cold call the right way, then you win. And you also win through a market crash. The agents who call during the market crash or the, or the ones that continue to make sales during the market crash. Transactions continue to happen every single day. 
And the, the fall of the market actually creates incredible urgency. The buyers that buy when the market's down, they wanna buy right now while it's down before it goes up. And the sellers that are selling have to sell. They're in trouble, the market crashed, so they have to sell now. So you have super motivated buyers, super motivated sellers. No, there's not as many transactions going on, but there's a lot less agents, and if you're the agent that's on the phone saying, what can I do to help you, and find out how to help people and call hundreds of people every single week, then you are gonna win. And not only are you gonna win during the crash, but when the market comes back, you're gonna have acquired so much market share, which by the way, market share is the number of relationships that you have with property owners in the area compared to the rest of the market and the other agents. Whatever agent has the most relationships with property owners in the area, they own all the market share because they have all the future business. So when the market crashes and all the agents get out and you continue making calls and deals and creating new relationships because nobody's doing it, they're gone, when the market rebounds, you will come back with a vengeance because now you have so many people who are working with you, referring people to you, buying and selling through you. I explain all of this in my book. So I even commented on Kevin's live stream that he did when he was talking about this and how he feels about that this is gonna be a really bad time for real estate agents. And this is what he said. Hold on one second, let me get some popcorn for this. All right, here we go. Uh, more transactions per agent as number of agents go down. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think the true, number of true. agents is going down though. You've got more agents than ever working right now because the market's been hot and anytime the market's hot, you get more agents coming in. Kevin, here's the thing, man. For one, the market has not crashed yet. The market's not crashed, okay? It's flattening out, it's losing steam. We'll see where we go from here. Uh, everybody's entitled to a different opinion and, and, and that's fine, I appreciate it. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. If anybody tells you they know what's gonna happen, they're trying to sell you something. Nobody knows the future, nobody knows what's gonna happen. The market has a mind of its own. But it hasn't crashed yet. Secondly, agents just aren't gonna jump out in one day when the market does crash. It happens over time. Okay, yes, there are more agents now than ever because the market has been so hot. But as the market cools off, that number will go down. And if we see a big drop in transactions and prices, we will see that go down even further. Okay, it doesn't happen overnight, but it will happen. To be honest with you, I hope it actually doesn't happen. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing and teaching what I teach to try to help some of these agents that might have gotten out of the market when it does finally crash to stay in the market and not only stay but continue to provide for their family and create the life that they want to live and when the market rebounds, they will be on top. Anyway, I thought I would share this and give a different perspective. I definitely don't want it out there that this is gonna be a bad time for agents if the market does get worse. Okay, there's a lot of opportunity in the down market and I hope you guys realize that. If you have any questions, reach out to me. So Kevin, I know you're watching and I know you're all about fostering debates. And pretty much everybody knows that I'm all about fostering debate and encouraging different perspectives on the market. So here's one for you, you're up. And I appreciate you guys' time, till next time.